I think I saw a ledge in the drop down here, so we're gonna try to. Oh. Hello, I'm the Intriga Gamer, and today we'll be playing Shinobi, or the Revenge of Shinobi, for the Sega Genesis. Now, this is one of the harder games in my uh, childhood gaming library. Uh, I'm tempted to put it on easy. Anyway, let's begin. Alright, round one. It's going to be pretty, pretty easy going for the first part. Oh boy, this is, this is going to be weird. I'm going to be quiet for a period of time. That's because this game can get a little bit frustrating. This is around the same time as games like Golden Axe. Um, and you're going to see a lot of similarities between this and the other game I played, Ninja Shadows of Darkness, namely uh, uh, Mimic Chess. Oh, goodness. That guy was hard to hit. Like that, see that? Mimic Chest. Whoa, it still exploded even after I left the screen. That's pretty mean. Right, there we go. I, I have to get the rhythm for these guys. They're, they're pretty tricky. So yeah, the, the shurikens are, are really useful. Oh, come on. I couldn't even see it. The shurikens are incredibly useful because they allow you to... Hit stuff from a distance. You can melee things. Whoa! You can melee things when they get close to you, but you'd rather not let them get close to you. Oh, there we go. I didn't know that the thing uh, blew up rather slowly. Ooh, just barely dodged that shuriken or that ninja star. Doing pretty good until we got ambushed. Oh, couldn't duck. So you, you can already see that we're already at half health. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh! I just kicked that thing out the air. All right, onto the second phase. Oh boy. So yeah, if they didn't jump around so much, this would be a little bit easier. And as you see these little platforms open up these doors, this is about to get really, really gnarly in here. Let's take our time. So if you jump, at the peak of your jump, you can uh, do a second jump. But it's so finicky, like, it's not just if you double tap C that you jump like that. It's it's all on, on whether, oh, I'm gonna land right on these things. It's all about timing. There's a life right there. Oh, we did a mutual. Oh, he's got a friend. There we go. Oh, I missed my power-up, didn't I? I think the power-ups are limited, unlike, um... Oh, I'm almost out of health. I can get headshots on this guy, though. We need, uh, just a smidget of health. Ooh! Alright. So these caves are pretty bad down here. These doors pop up bad guys. about five a piece. Oh! Oh no! Alright, some trouble. I don't know how he got away. Punch, I think. There we go. Someone's already over there. I can see their fingers. Oh, this isn't good. Ninjutsu! Activate! What did that do? Okay, that makes me partially invincible. Hang on, I gotta change the ninjutsu's around. Hard to use my ninjutsu. Make it go for it. Oh, look at that. Alright, we're just playing with this, this tentative one shot of health left, guys. Oh, no, it's him. Alright, good. Now I can mess with the run. There we go. Alright, woo! We cleared the level. 
Oh, oh my goodness. Headshot. Alright, so I got to go into the boss battle with not too many shurikens and nowhere near enough health. So when I was a, a kid, this guy right here was dang near impossible until I learned how to beat him. Which was a combination of jumping and doing this uh, shuriken spin, which you need like a lot of shurikens to do it. See how his health is slowly changing? Come on. In fact, I don't think we have enough to do it. Alright, well, we gotta do something about this last one, see if I can change the jitsu around. Oh, oh my goodness, it just enough help. Oh, oh, he got us. I thought I dropped kicked him on the forehead. Oh, we were so close. We were so close to acing that. Oh boy. Nice grab to use our ninjutsu, come invincible, and punch his lights up. On guard, butthole. Yeah! Nothing but a pile of armor now. Oh, we didn't get the perfect bonus. Alright. So now these are the water side cliff falls, or the waterfall cliffs. These things are th probably the most treacherous part about this game because look at when you're hopping, the background does that funky downwards movement thing which will throw you for a loop. And not only that, but these. Well, he got me anyway? These uh, bat ninjas. Yeah, I said it. Bat ninjas are just a huge obstacle in, in this uh, part of the map. You can't even see anything because the stupid background is, is always moving. You can't see the shurikens or anything, so how... And it's not even the worst part yet. You're going to see the worst part in a bit. We're going get to get to get to it, and when you see it... See, look at that. It's like, go, go up. Just, just go up, right? How do you say? Well, you jump on these falling logs. Just, just jump on them. There's only one! Come on! So you gotta, I guess you gotta hop, and then you gotta wait for this log to come down to about double jump height, and then you gotta perfectly double jump. Oh, see? Try double jump there. Oh no, you didn't! Ah, And you gotta do the whole thing over again. You don't start at the go, you start at the very beginning. This is where all of my rage goes into. And the other thing is that like like this, you can't you can't see where you're gonna jump to, and I've been getting dizzy just looking at these cameras. You can't see what's below you, you can't see what's above you or to the next frame. You have to just work off the instinct. You have to become a literal ninja. Oh bananas. Can't do that second double jump to get up there. Oh, oh. What am I doing? Almost. Oh man, I'm just so nervous right now because I can't do these jumps. Okay, come on. Get it together. Get it together. You can do this. All you gotta do is jump on that log. Oh my goodness, I almost killed myself. Mm. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. All right, as soon as that log leaves the screen, we're gonna double jump to victory if we can do it. If it just let us double jump. We press the C button twice instead of waiting until I got all up there and then doing it. Oh, I, I can't even double jump anymore. I can barely double jump on call. And we're dead. This is where most of my lives got poured into. I don't even know what lies beyond this part because as a kid I could never beat it. And obviously as a grown up I can't beat it either. And that bat is a beginner's trap. I mean, there's two of them today? Hmm. Scratch my beard, that is bad. Oh, I don't even trust myself with this jump. I'm getting so dizzy looking at this background, too. It's not that it's not worth getting frustrated over. It's not worth getting frustrated over. I, I don't rage. I'm supposed to supposed I'm supposed to, to be calm and collective and just beat this. Oh 
Oh, we made it! Oh, sweet. Oh, God, this is a bug. No, 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 no. Let's throw something higher. Okay. So he's gonna make this jump across this gap. Oh, jeez. Alright. I wanna go down there. But I, I can't do the, the ledge drop. So we just got a regular drop. Oh, this is gonna be bad, guys. I have a feeling. Cause you can't see what's next. Look. I don't know where the next part is. I think. I think I saw a ledge gonna drop down here, so we're gonna try it. Oh. And then he committed suicide right after. Don't hit that box. Screw it. Come on. Alright, so there's definitely a ninja over here. We gotta do the double jump, and we gotta, we gotta throw shurikens at him. One, two, three, awesome. Alright, so look at that, look at that. Good. Just traps. Simple. Traps. Traps everywhere. Jump and jump and throw darts. I try to postpone the inevitable. Don't hit that box. Screw it. <laughs> 